Today we are going to make our Henry Matisse plaster bowls. We will be using a plastic bowl as a mold. We will be using plaster gauze. You, at your table you have a bucket of water. And then we'll be using a tissue paper or a paper towel and tape. The first thing we need to do is we need to label the bowl so we know whose is whose. So at your table you're going to get a piece of tape, you're going to rip it off, put it on the side, make sure there it's on there, and then you're going to write your name on the tape so that I can rewrite your name on the bottom of your bowl when it's dry. But it's very important that you write your name on this piece of tape, otherwise we're going to have no idea whose is whose. Now the next step, before we start with plaster, we need to put a little dish soap in each of our bowls to make sure that our bowl doesn't get stuck when it's done. So you're going to fold up your paper towel. I will come around and put a little bit of dish soap in each bowl. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to rub it around Make sure you're getting it on all the sides. You want to get it on the top as well, on this lip of the bowl. Make sure you're not rubbing it off, but just rubbing it around. Now you are ready. Once you've got it on all the sides, you are ready for plaster. So you, at your table, you're going to have different sizes of plaster and they are all fine. You also have a bucket of water. So what you're going to do to start is you're going to take a piece and you're just going to dip it, dip it in the water, drip it off a little bit, and lay it in the bowl. Lay it in the bowl. You don't need to touch it too much. Just lay it in the bowl, nice and flat. We'll take another piece, dip it in the water, lay it down, Make sure you're pressing it against the bottom. Continuing this process, putting it all around. If it bends and makes a few creases, that's okay. We will flatten it out later. If it goes a little bit over the edge, that is also okay. But you don't want it to go too much over the edge and pushing it so that it goes into the crevice of the bowl. We don't want any slack. We're going to end up doing about two layers over the entire thing. See how I folded it over? It did not go over the edge. If it goes over the edge a little bit, that's okay. We can always cut it off when it's dry. You do want to kind of keep track where you've put two layers already, where you've been overlapping, so that you don't have a really thin area and then a really thick area. If you can see any orange through, then you know it is not thick enough. If you start to see some buildup of water, you can take your bowl and carefully dip it, dump it out into the water bucket. Make sure you get really nice on the edges. Make sure you get plenty on the edges. That'll be probably the place that will break. If anything breaks, that's where it's going to break. So we want to make sure we're putting plenty on the sides. And if we need to fold it up and smooth it out.
You can kind of hold it up and see in the light. Oh, I can see some orange through there. I know that I'm not done. I can see the orange through the gauze or through the plaster, so I know I have to add more layers. Again, if you have too much water, dump it out. If you hold it up, you again you can kind of see in the sun where the sh the orange is shining through. Once you feel like you've gotten a good two layers on your entire bowl, you're going to take your wet finger and you're just going to rub and try and close all those little plaster holes so that you cannot see the gauze anymore. It just looks plain white. If you have too much water, dump it out carefully in the bucket. Your tables are going to get dirty. That's okay. But be careful about rubbing the bottom. You don't want it to come up. nice edges. Make it as smooth as you can. Then you are done with your plaster bowl.